That's a tough one. Uh, uh, photography. Um, for me, photography is an incredibly powerful instrument uh, for my architecture. Uh, it has been really since Peter and I started. Um, for us, um, art photography more than documentary photography, but photographers like Lee Friedlander in the early days, Walker Evans, but then the Dusseldorf School, especially Gursky and Struitt and Candido Huffer. Uh, they're, they're both very important to me. We're actually doing a submission now where we're referring to Gordon Mana Clark quite a lot. Um, but I think Robert Smithson is a bigger influence. Uh, in a similar way to the way uh, art photography is, he really allowed us in the early days to kind of look at the post-industrial condition in a way that brought the positive and the potential of that condition to the fore. I, I'm a firm believer that agriculture and architecture have a common origin. I think we have to think both of them as being fundamental cultural imperatives. Uh, we're famous for doing brick buildings, but nowadays we use stone because if you have a quarry near your site and it's a viable quarry, it's a way of getting an amazing durable material with a rich architectural tradition that has no carbon in it. It's uh, carbon free. I mean, I'm not from London, I'm Canadian, but I'm a London architect and I think so much of our architecture is informed by the experience of being here. But they both have a kind of intellectual and spatial openness that I really enjoy, actually. Neither is a beautiful city in any way. To me, they're identical. Uh, they're the same, and I have no preference. Uh, I think that the fetishization of the human hand touching materials is something I have no interest in. It's romantic. To me, there's no difference. Um, yeah, I'm not Ruskinian in that way, you know.